All right, it's almost four o'clock. Where is he? He said he'd be here. You know, I could always run. Absolutely not. You don't get pirate games. We remember the last time you tried to run a high seas adventure. I have a 22 to spot in the light vision. What's making the noise in the dark? Aboliths. Everywhere. How many? Everywhere. Okay, fine, but it's still almost four o'clock. Shut it up, you. I hear his truck. All right, guys, get your stuff ready for the swashing and the buckling, and we'll play some furry pirates. Finally. Wait, something's not right. Yeah. All right, you pickaroons, you've hanged the jib for long enough. Now go on account handsomely, or I'll see you dance with Jack Cash. Finally! I'm a Cajun crocodile who left the Jazzy Delta to learn the ancient art of voodoo sorcery. I specialize in necromancy and alteration. Call me Robert LaSalle, captain of the dead man's hand. Sounds jolly, Roger. That's Robert. Whatever you are, what did you make? I'm a swashbuckling cat from Kilgurust. I was shanghaied into the navy at 12, and after learning savat in the seas, I led a mutiny and established myself as an outlaw champion of the poor. Call me Captain O.G. Reedmer. No one's going to get that. You're old. Stop being so old. What did you make? Echo in paniki. Ako ang parateng kapitang ng degat ng sulu. Hindi aka naksasalita ng ibang lingye. Hindi ko ito babakahin. What be a Moro pirate doing in the Caribbean? How you be captain if you can't speak the king's tongue? Eko ang kinatata kutan inge sa iyag paglalayag. Ako ang buta sa iyang banka. Ako ang paniki. It's nice to see that level of dedication to a character. Heave too. Did I hear you right? You all made captains. Well, yeah, that's like playing Star Wars and not making a Jedi. Well, you can't all be captain. Robert, you'll be the first mate. Paniki, you can be quartermaster. And Oji, you can be a captain, but only because you'll cry if you can't make the reference. I'm the captain. Echo and Paniki. All right, if we're done taking the piss, let's weigh anchor, shall we? So, furry pirates. Yep, that's a thing. It is a thing. A thing that I picked up at Gen Con out of curiosity. Oh, really? Did it... Kill the cat? Don't encourage him. Now that you mention it, yes it did. It killed several cats. And some dogs. And some elephants. Uh, we get it. It's a furry game. You're both incorrigible. Furry Pirates is a historical RPG based on the golden age of the Atlantic Pirate. In that regard, it's very detailed and takes pains to be historically accurate. It does. In fact, it's so dedicated to history that it has sample characters that were real people. Like Anne Bonny, Calico Jack, and Blackbeard. Except that... Uh, you know, they're cats and dogs and stuff. The game focuses heavily on reproducing the culture and era of the Golden Age from Port Worth to Tortuga. It deals with sea travel both oceanic and inland and takes a great deal of pride in its ship-to-ship -ship combat. The game's other main gimmick is that it is furry. Rather than humans, everyone in the world is some fashion of anthropomorphic animal. Unlike Iron Claw, Furry Pirates doesn't have any specific racial characteristics attributed to the particular animal your character represents. Rather, it has character types separated by genus. The only difference is that larger furries are stronger and smaller furries are weaker. Oh, and the game calls characters furries at all times, so we're going to from this point as well. Making a furry is very easy. Attributes are purchased from a pool of points which are very generously allotted. This is used to buy fighting abilities, crafts, knowledges, and even magical powers. The Game Master determines what level players start at, which determines the number of points they have to purchase skills. Since there are no character classes, all characters are custom built. And then there's the ships. Trust me, you'll need one, and you'll need to trick it out. Believe me when I say the ships are as much characters as the PCs are. Oh, and be prepared to settle a fight over who gets to be the captain. Yo, 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 Savvy, you bring a spring upon our cable. Taking the wind and leaving the East Indies should be called. Your larder is fat with sugarcane and wheat. Awesome, this swag will bring a fat price at Port Royal. Hey, Master of Quarters, what say we crack open a hogshead and splice the main brace? A kipper for every furry aboard. I got a paniki. As you make merry on your good fortune, a call rings across the calm. Sail ahoy! The sutler must have loosed a pigeon, because there's a British warship. Third class on the horizon. In short order, ye be sure they're measuring up your chains. 
Then I guess we fight. Coxon, bring her about. Fly the Jolly Roger and hoist the jib. Paniki, prepare the gunners to fire a kiss across her prow. I'm not ready to dance the hemp and jig yet. All right, you bring her into range and prepare to blow them down. Let's get the grid down and mark the compass. All right, the wind zero is from the nor'east, and you be moving at 35 degrees. That means you tacking. You'll have to put your men to rowing. What? Okay, they come around again, peppering the bow with solids and grip shotting the deck. That means about ten of your furries die to shrapnel. I'll just assume you're furling to gain the weather gauge. I'm gonna be honest, I'm having a lot easier time understanding the Asian. Alright, so you'll ram them broadside and fire your forward guns. That will scuttle them, the navy ship sinks with the fading sun. You hear many furries begging you to save them from drowning. Could be a way to replace your lost sailors. Oh, can't we just drown with them and be less painful in another ship combat? For the most part, Furry Pirates manages to stay very rules light. It exclusively uses a percentile die to generate a number 1 through 100. Modified rolls are then compared to a target number. The math that determines these modifiers is somewhere in the neighborhood of ridiculously cumbersome, but it's alright because the designers included a pair of handy charts that do all the ciphering for you. It's actually fairly straightforward and strong, if possibly a touch oversimplified. The ship combat is another story. As expected, Furry Pirates intends for you to be on the high seas. Its ship combat is incredibly detailed and pushes for high realism. Rounds in ship combat are measured in minutes and are handled more like mass combat than anything else. While it does give some leeway for the characters to get in there and do some swashbuckling, such actions must be handled during a specific phase and actually slow things down quite a bit. A warship is operating with a crew of a hundred or more, after all. If you love ships, then this game will really come through for you. It's got a primer on sea terms, handles wind speed, direction, arc of movement, movement based on furling, tacking, rowing, and everything in between. Ship combat can start from hundreds of meters if you can land a lucky hit with a cannonball. It's well detailed, but very cumbersome and slow. However, if you want really detailed and realistic ship-to-ship -ship battles, furry pirates will have you covered. and repairing our boat on the black market and restocking our powder and shot comes to roughly everything we looted from that East India ship. Wow, what a great time. Will there be enough left over for food and rum? Maybe if we steal it. So we're all decided, right? This is balls we're leaving? Aka on paniki. All right, what be ye chattering about? Yeah, we're not making a profit, so we're gonna leave. What be your meaning, leave? Leave? We're heading north. We're taking our enterprise to the River Saskatchewan. You be moving to Canada? But there's nobody there. Exactly, so there's no competition and no navy. Which means, no more goddamn ship fights. But there's no European settlements. Who are you gonna plunder, a moose? They don't have any booty. Isn't it racist? This is mutiny! If you go to Canada, then the campaign's basically ruined. That's not true. There are fur traders we could knock over. We could, um... Fish Lake Winnipeg. We could uh, hang out with the Nehiawak. And we'll be the only ones there. We'll be the terror of Regina from Saskatoon to Edmonton. It'll be great. Okay, I looked it up and there are some settlements. I guess this will work if you all take this very seriously. Get it Ye scurvy, yellow livered, land loving strumpet. I'll kill all ya. That's it. Take a break. You, uh, you didn't want to play Fairy Pirates today, did you? Gusto Kang Maglero and j Clock. So, Furry Pirates. Yup. Furry Pirates. Hmm. Alright. Well, the system's not bad. It's true. It's fairly straightforward and easy to use. The skill selection gives you a lot to work with and leaves the GM with plenty of room to customize the player's options. And you can make just about anything that you can think of. It has an earnestness about it that many properties lack. That being said, ship-to-ship -ship combat is way, way over the top. It does not need to be this complicated. No, not at all. If players are looking for that level of detail in their ship combat, then there are plenty of war games that they can play. Of course, those aren't role-playing games. You know, I don't really have a lot to say about this. I don't either. I'm not big into historical fiction, and I don't like furries, so this really isn't the game for me. It's alright, but I don't think it's something I could see myself playing for long periods of time. The artwork is pretty good. 
And I think it's cute and an interesting idea, but it's very, very, very niche. I don't think I would recommend it. So, that's about all there is to say. Furry Pirates isn't a bad game exactly, but it's not one we can see having a big draw. If you like sailing games and pirates, or you like or don't mind furries, this is probably a good game for you. But if not, it's definitely not going to be your cup of tea. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at Gen Con. Hey! If ye be a lusty lad, jump like a pirate, if ye be Or, a... thank you for watching our review of Furry Pirates. If ye swabs would like a copy of this game, then sail on down to the description, where you can also find links to the awesome music we had. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, or I'll be sending you to Doggy Jones' locker. Mm. Arr. Pirate shit. Okay, we're, so, we're done. We're so sorry. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> we're done. Pirates. God. Stop. Like. Subscribe. <laughs> buttons. Stop. Over, no one knows where you're pointing at. I'll put a. I'll put a link to other videos for roleplay roulette. I'll put up seven. You can say all the seven roulettes. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Pirates. <laughs> Hey, were you not wearing sunglasses this whole time? No, I forgot them. But there's like 14 pair right over there. I forgot them. All right.